this gospel today known as the beatitude the blessings jesus talks eight pillars if one to be or to follow jesus the purpose of jesus teaching about eight pillars is to explain to his disciples to give them to give to give them awareness the challenge about to face to make them aware that to be his follower is not only about follow the rules and regulations but it is about the heart the inner being of a person of his disciple because the torah talks about 10 commandments it's about don'ts but jesus talks about what to do not don'ts but what to do if want to follow Jesus eight points Jesus point out to the disciples number one is the poor in spirit not materially things poor but spiritual poor it means that you have to empty yourself and then only depend on God's power. Not leaning on the material things, but on His power. And then a second is, Blessed those who are mourn. Why is Jesus talking about the mourning, the sufferings? Everybody suffers. For to follow Jesus is not to be easy, just everything is okay. No. He warns his disciples that you have to suffer. You have to face the sufferings. Do not avoid, face the challenge, and then feel the pain. Face it, because you are not alone. That's why you have to be poor in spirit. You, to, you have to be empty yourself and follow me, because God is with you. And then the third, the meek. You have to be humble. I think this is the one of the important things to do is to be humble. When you're humble, you depend on others not depend on your own strength but really depends on the help of others and then depends on God that's why Jesus warns his disciples that you should be humble the fourth is blessed are those who are hunger and thirst for righteousness getting filled up with the word of God let open yourself to be filled with the Holy Spirit the word of God The fifth 
the merciful. Blessed are those who are merciful to others. Because God is merciful to you, you have to be, to be merciful to others. You have to give back to others. If you feel the merciful for God, you have to give back to others to be merciful. And then the sixth, to be pure in heart. That's why every time you attend the Mass, we start it with cleansing to clean up. I notice in my room, my room is aircon, sealed, but every time I look at the floor, there are dust. Marumi. So I have to clean it every day. It closed, pero marumi pa rin. Even though you pray every day, you think that you pray and then feel close to God, then sometimes maybe you, you think that you don't know no need to ask for forgiveness. No, that's wrong. In order to be, to, to be pure in heart, you have to clean it up every day. Because clean heart is important in our mission. To be clean, it, it doesn't mean that wala kang kasalanan. No. To be clean of heart means that you are open to God asking for forgiveness. Seventh, become a peacemaker to facilitate facilitate the peace between one another. Do not create a trouble to be a peacemaker. In order to be a Jesus follower should be a peacemaker not the troublemaker. Okay, bawasan natin yung Marites. The eighth. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. This is the warning of Jesus that if you speak the truth, not everybody happy about the truth, you will be persecuted. Yes, that's the truth. If you want to follow Jesus, maghanda ka. If you speak the truth, you will be hated. You will be persecuted by those who are not with the truth. And Jesus reminds that that if you speak the truth, you should be ready. Okay, it's not easy. Hindi ganun kadali magsabi ng totoo. Hindi ganun kadali to have a pure heart. Hindi ganun kadali magiging humble. Hindi ganun kadali magiging merciful. Sometimes misunderstood by others. But don't worry. God is with us. Jesus. 
promises us to be with him because you are the temple of God within you dwells the Holy Spirit you are the image of God each one of us each one of you this is the image of God you are the likeness of God your face is the face of God that's why you have to clean up your house the house of God in order to show up the Spirit of God every time you meet your people so brothers and sisters we are the children of God eight pillars or the foundation of our life we live the eight pillars in order to be Jesus follower in this world